Hi, this is Mahesh Ravi and uh, today we are going to look at how uh, we can create an interesting smoke effect using After Effects. What I have right now with me is this PNG file, a transparent uh, image file of a cloud. Now let's go ahead and open uh, After Effects. So we are in After Effects right now and we have to create a new composition. Let's create a new composition. Yeah, this is fine. So let's click OK. Uh, now we have to create uh, a new um, a solid so that we can use that as a placeholder for the particle effect that uh, we're going to add. So go to layer, new solid. Click OK. Now we need to import the uh, PNG file that we just downloaded. So then import that as a PNG file. You drag and drop that to the composition. You can just uh, hide the uh, image right here. So um, we have a black solid selected. And let's add a particle effect. So search for CC uh, particle world drag and drop the particle world right here so the first thing that we need to do is to move the emitter right here to the bottom so the particle is going to be emitted right from the bottom of things all right so uh, now we need to change a couple of things here so go to uh, producer we can change the the radius need to bring the radius a little bit down see all right so let's go to the uh, physics the animation just change it to uh, fire so this is going to go up like this. This is something that we want. Good. Uh, let's change the velocity to um, maybe 0.05. The speed is going to be a little uh, slow right now. Okay. This is fine. Uh, and we don't have to change anything over here right now. Let's go and select the particle. So particle type is line at the moment. So just change that to a textured square. So right now uh, the particle changes to a textured square and we haven't applied a texture yet. We need to assign the uh, transparent cloud image to the texture of the particle. So just open texture and the texture layer choose the cloud layer right here so you can see that right now the particle which is emitting is the png layer uh, you know it's duplicating the png layer to create the particles it's good so the size we can change the size here of the particles okay so interesting size variation you can change the size so that there is randomness in what is uh, being created now uh, the color we have to change it back to the natural color of the smoke so uh, the color map um, what we can do is the maximum opacity we can change it to 100 and change the birth color to white and also the death color to let's change it to an off-white color 
Now this is going to look a lot like smoke right now. So there are a couple of things that we need to do. Uh, now, so the second thing that we have to create is uh, let's look for a fast blur effect. Click and drop it right onto the uh, solid. So it's going to create a blurry effect here. So you can change the blurry value right here. So this is too much. Maybe a P is going to do just fine. Right? What we need to do is to add a little bit of uh, you know, uh, distortion to the way the smoke is flying up. So what we can do is uh, we need to add a warp distortion, warp. Uh, and we can already see that there is some sort of distortion right here but this is not exactly what we need so the wave height uh, and, um, change it to change the uh, wave type to um, circle now uh, let's if you preview it there is a little bit of randomness in the smoke process this is good but then we can change a little bit uh, we need to change a little bit of that again okay this is not bad right now this randomness here okay. and the wave speed you can change it to 0.25 You can also add a uh, motion blur and turn on the global motion blur in the layer. So it is, it's going to be a little blurry right now. Good enough. Alright, so uh, if the speed of the smoke is too much, the best thing that you can do is to change the stress value right here. Uh, change the thousand. And now uh, the smoke is going to. Uh, Go at pace at, at a much slower uh, pace. You can keep playing around with these settings to make the smoke uh, exactly the way that you want. Uh, but this is an easy way to create uh, a decent looking smoke uh, straight out of After Effects. But that's it. I hope this helps you and um, I'll see you soon. Thank you.